Hey guys, we're going to be going for a second uh, video on the Tower of Heroes from the Japanese server. Uh, my first time that I did this, it was a blind clear. I didn't know what was going on. I took my absolute best possible team. That turned out to be a mistake. I didn't know you were supposed to clear the tower 30 times with 30 different teams to get all these rewards. So when I did that with my best units on one team, uh, that, that counted as a clear. But it locked out all those units where you want to get as many clears with smaller teams as possible. So, made a mistake. I, I didn't know. You know, my bad. Now I know, though. So, I've gone through and I've cleared it a few more times using other Neovisions. A Neovisions unit can pretty much solo this with a, a one-man team. Like, not really any problems. Like, I soloed it with Saul. I soloed it with Eris, etc., etc. Um, but now I'm down to 7-star units. Now, I do have a lot of good 7-stars I could use, like, you know, current-day units like Kuja and stuff. But I'm going to be showing how to, once you once you get to, like, the bottom of the barrel, it gets a little bit harder. So I'm going to be showing some tricks for some of the bosses that can help, help clear it. So for one thing we're going to want is we're going to want a unit with dual cast on Diablos with Gravity Learned. Now, um, I think this guy is called Doga. This little uh, four-star unit, he is just going to be for casting gravity on the second fight. That's it. So anyone with dual cast works perfectly fine. Uh, the rest of the clear, we're going to be doing uh, Citra mostly as a support. She's going to be healing and filling mana. That's all she does. And then Cypher is going to be solo carrying the damage. He's like not the best damage. It might be a little bit slow, but I'll be showing some some you know tricks to get it done. Uh, now, Titan wants to have Bar Stone go learned and um, either Armor Break or Power Break learned. And I'll show why when we get deeper in the fight. And for your best DPS, you want to put them on Stone Killer. Uh, Golem is the best because Earth Resist is very helpful here. So, alright, let's go ahead in here and give this a go. So, for this first boss, uh, it's pretty generic. As long as you kill the dog, the, the human guy runs away. So we're going to go ahead and provoke just in case we don't kill the dog. And then we'll imperil and chain. Alright, we're, we're not going to kill him in one turn. Oh, we did kill him in one turn. Okay, so we're fine. Uh, Citra will just do Holy Mind to fill the Esper Gauge a little bit. And what is Guard Doga? Okay, so the first guy ran away. Not a problem. Yeah, the first fight's pretty much a, gi a giveaway fight, e even with like a solo older DPS. So the second fight's a little bit trickier. This uh, this statue guy, he's really tanky, but he's vulnerable to gravity. And this is the reason we put a unit on Diablos with dual cast learned. Uh, as soon as this statue guy goes below 20% health, you win the fight. So this is to make it real easy. We're going to dual cast gravity right away on turn one. And that brings the boss to 25%. So now we only, we only need to do 6% more damage, and then we pretty much win. So we'll just go ahead and uh, imperil imbue, and then we'll use Citra to refill some mana. Alright, so because the boss is below 20% health, he's going to explode. Um, Doga's done. That's all he was here for. We don't care that he died. Uh, for, your, for your first clear, get all the missions, like the no death mission and all. But at this point, we don't care about death. So yeah, Doga's accomplished his mission. He's done. He, he dual cast the gravity and chunked off 70, 75% health on that first guy. Or that second boss. Alright, so the next one is an AoE fight. You kind of want some AoE damage if you can fit it. It's not really required, but it'll certainly be helpful and speed it up quite a bit. You're also going to want Earth Resist. So we're going to go ahead and cast Earth Resist with Citra. And then Cypher is going to provoke. And I guess we'll do his... Um, I don't use Cypher very often, if I'm going to be honest here. Yeah, we're going to use his his Mirage Chain. Or actually, we're going to we're going to imbue. So we're going to provoke, imbue, and we'll use his Mirage Chain, and we'll just kill one of these. I wonder if I can kill two of them. I'll try. Hey, we killed two of them. Okay. So the Mirage Chain is probably not really required. Uh, I think I think it's mostly Earth damage actually. Uh, and now we will refill mana with Citra. And then we'll just do some chaining. Oh, did one of them die? I didn't even notice. I guess they did. 
Okay, there you go. If you if you've got um, AOE damage, it's a lot better there. You can just take them out on turn one. Pretty simple. Whatever. All right. So the next fight is going to be the hardest fight of the tr the clear, and it's not even that hard. The demon wall fight. It's fine. As long as you bring some earth resist, you're pretty much good. And like I said, we're on we're on Titan and Golem for a natural earth resist from the Esper, and we're going to be casting earth resist from Titan. All right, so because this is the hardest fight, we're going to actually use Cypher's cooldowns now. We're going to do um, the power up cooldown, and then I guess imbue and uh, just chain. And we're going to do some Earth Resist. Alright, do some damage. So when this boss goes below 10% health, he will uh, run away. Just FYI. Or kill himself. He actually won't run, he'll just kill himself. Alright, let's, uh, let's do that. And I guess we can't dual cast it. So we'll just refill some mana. And we'll just use Cypher's LB to save the save mana. Okay, so the boss is at 1%, and he'll now kill himself. Oh, Cypher killed him. Whatever. I didn't realize Cypher's LB was a double hit thing. That's fine. Pretty simple. Alright, so the last fight can be a little bit trickyish if your DPS is not great. Um, we're going to be doing a trick which makes the boss stop his healing. Normally, the boss heals himself quite often. But if your team has any debuffs on your on your team, instead of healing, the boss will actually damage himself. The the like the like role play reason or whatever is uh, if you can read Japanese, it says at the top of the screen the boss has consumed your like curses and it hurt him, which is kind of like a strange thing. But anyway, remember how I said you want your your support unit on Titan with either armor break or power break learned. We're gonna go ahead and power break ourselves. That or defense break. That's armor break. Uh, that applied a defense break on our, our unit, and the boss is now going to eat that defense break and damage himself instead of healing. If you don't have debuffs, he heals himself. If you do have debuffs, he hurts himself. And then tight or cipher can just um, let's see, imbue, provoke, and we'll just chain a little bit. All right, so watch here. There we go, and the boss um, hurt himself instead of healing. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna keep that debuff on our own team. All right, Cypher will provoke and then just double chain. All right, and once again, because we have debuffs, the boss is going to... Oh, you start there, the boss, the boss hurt himself instead of healing. Yeah, the boss did not heal, he hurt himself. So we're going to, again, we're going to power break our own team to keep the debuffs going. Yep, we keep, debu we keep debuffing our team, the boss is eating our debuff and taking damage. It looks like we're basically out of mana on Cypher, so we're just going to single cast. Which actually did no damage, okay. Oh, the boss healed. Did I lie to y'all? Did I lie to y'all? Did I lie? I might have. <laughs> I, thought that, I thought that was how it worked. All right, let's go ahead and um, refill mana on Cipher. All right, let's finish it off. Let's imbue and double chain. Well, whatever. We got it. We got it. And there we go. So there was plus one clear. Um, you can do three of these a day. I, I can no longer use Doga, Citra, or Cypher. But there it is. Another clear. So I have to do like 17 more if I decide to go for all 30. I might stop at 20. I don't know. It's a little tedious. But there's my three clears for the day. Alright, see you guys next time.